Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Sam. And we're going to need you to work with us here, okay? Have you brought your imaginations? Good, let's get started. Okay, so behind me, this canvas, it's not really a canvas, it's Bethlehem. And up there is a huge, gigantic, bright star. Across the night sky are millions of other little bright stars, and behind us are the rolling hills of Bethlehem. Now over here, try to picture the small, simple houses of Bethlehem. And on the last row of those houses, do you see a stable where the cows, sheep, and donkey reside? Do you see it? I think something important <laughs> might happen there tonight. What do you think? What else might you see in Bethlehem? Thank you. Hey, did you know as Christians that the story of baby Jesus' birth is the greatest story of our faith? That this little baby being born in a stable where there is nothing fancy about it? It certainly was a far cry from being a perfect place for this Prince of Peace, as they called him, to come into the world. So we're here this morning to hear this story once again as we prepare for Jesus to be born. Before we move on with the story, we need you to turn off or silence your cell phones, please. Photos are okay, but do not come towards the stage as it will distract the Sunday school players. And you, yes, you in the audience have a part in this story. So check out your program to see when you get to sing. Does anyone need a program? We will get one to you real fast. Okay, are we ready? Let's get ready by listening to the Light Shine Choir. It is now or never. Let's rock it. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy. I think we might be ready. Are you ready, Ricky? How about you, Pastor Brett? Are you ready out there in the audience? What does it really take to get ready? Did you 
See that star over there? That there in the dark night sky? That thing is huge! Okay, the story is officially started. Now let's listen to our littlest angels who will set the scene with announcement from the angel Gabriel to Mary that she would have a special baby. You are really gonna like this. Shh, here comes the angels. Here comes an angel. Here comes an angel. What should I do? What should I do? Do not be afraid now. Do not be afraid now. God loves you. God loves you. Leading up to Christmas, people gather in many places. Celebrations with friends, parties at work, Christmas concerts and school programs, caroling parties, Just Harvest Kitchen, youth fundraisers, and many more special events and services at church. Others spend their time at shops and malls looking for that perfect gift. Still others gather at hospitals, shelters, bus stations, and under overpasses. And some do not gather at all, finding themselves quite alone in a season that somehow doesn't involve them. What's it all about? What are these seasons of Advent and Christmas for? And whom are they for? They're for everyone and for all the world. This is our chance to prepare, to dream, to hope, to wait. For the child the whole world is longing for, Emmanuel. God is with us, all of us. Let's sing together this verse of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. The words are printed in the program for your convenience. Some words have been changed. sounded great. I like when the congregation sings. Very cool. I don't really know that song. It's probably a good thing to learn these hymns. These have been around for a long time. And how about those little angels? They are, were so cute. I wonder if I were ever an angel 
in the pageant. Were any of you in the congregation? See, we have some angels out there. Nice! I think it's time for some animals to help us continue telling the story. How about it? Here they come. Let's watch. Late one night on a lonely hillside, a group of shepherds watched their sheep. Shepherds. Good news is coming to you. The dark night sky was filled with stars. The cold night wind blew and the shepherds huddled together to keep warm. Shepherds. Good news is coming to you. Suddenly, the sky grew very bright. The stars were pale in comparison. The shepherds were afraid. Shepherds. Good news is coming to you. An angel of the Lord appeared before the shepherds. Great light surrounded the angel, and the shepherds were afraid. Shepherds. Good news is coming to you. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring you wonderful news. The Savior for whom you have been waiting for has been born. Shepherds. Good news is coming to you. How will we know it is him? The shepherds asked. How will we know it is really him? Shepherds. Good news is coming to you. You will find the baby wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly, there were more angels. Angels filled the whole entire sky. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to pe all people on earth. People on earth. Good news is coming to you. When the angels had left, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and find this special baby for whom the angels told us. People on earth. Good news is coming to you. The shepherds found the baby as the angels told them. Then they returned to their flocks, telling everyone they saw of the angels in their message and the tiny baby in the stable. People on earth. Good news is coming to you. Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All the people had to travel to the hometowns of their ancestors to be counted. Joseph and Mary had to go to Bethlehem, David's town, because Joseph was a descendant of King David. Mary was about to have a baby. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them to stay in the end. Let's sing verse 2 now. Remember, the new words are in the program. 